Okay, welcome back. We are moving into systems of equations algebraically. We're going to do elimination part two. Okay, so part two is just going to add to what we did on the first part. It says for these equations, you will need to modify at least one, if not both equations, in order to eliminate one of the variables. So let's look at some of these equations. <clears throat> and we're going to do four examples. Okay, the first example we're going to look at and I have a 2x and a 5x, a positive 3y and a positive 2y, 17 and 37, they don't really matter. So I'm going to eliminate the y's because it just seems like it'd be easier. So the first equation I'm going to multiply by negative 2. The second equation I'm going to multiply by a positive 3. <clears throat> Remember, they have to be opposites. So negative 2 times 2x would be a negative 4x minus 6y equals negative 34. <clears throat> and that is this equation. And then the second equation I'm going to put right here. And <clears throat> 3 times 15, excuse me, would be 3 times 5 is 15x plus 6y is equal to 37 times 3 is 111. And then we're going to add the equations together. Negative 4 plus 15 would be 11x. Negative 6y plus 6y cancels out. And negative 34 plus 111 is 77. Then we divide by 11, and you get x equals 7. So I know that my first coordinate, and I'll put it down here, is a 7. Now to solve for my y coordinate, I'm going to take my 7. I'm going to substitute it into one of the original equations, either the top one or the second one. And I'm going to substitute it into the top one for no reason other than it looks like it would be easy to do it. So 2 times 7 plus 3y is equal to 17. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 3y is equal to 17. Subtract 14 from both sides. 3y equals 3. And I'm running out of room here. I'll divide by 3. Divide by 3. You get y is equal to 1. So my coordinates of the point or the solution, the point where they intersect, is positive 7 comma positive 1. What I want you to do is I want you to solve this one. And as we look at it, we have a positive 8 and a positive 3. We have a negative 2 and a positive 7. So we were going to have to multiply or modify both equations in that one. As I go to the bottom, <clears throat> I'm going to continue with this one. And I have a negative 4 and a positive 8. Okay. Oh, you know what I notice? I notice that 4 and 8 are, or 4 is a multiple of 8. So we can just multiply the top equation. Since the 4 is negative, all I have to do is multiply it by 2. And we're going to cancel out our x values. So you get a negative 8x. Can you pause real quick? And then plus 4y is equal to a negative... 16. And then we're going to eliminate. So we can eliminate these and you get those cancel out. And then you realize that the negative 4y and the positive 4y, those are going to cancel out as well. So we're left with zero. So we know that we either have no solution or infinitely many. And our positive 16 and our negative 16, they cancel out as well. So when the left side equals the right side, we get infinitely many solutions. And for the other problem for homework, I would like you to solve this one as well for homework and determine what the solution is. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow in class.